Back in the 80s, arcades used to be a lot like this. Crowds of players gathered around rows and rows of machines, all different. Well, most arcades now look more like ghost towns than the lifeblood of a burgeoning entertainment industry. What happened? Extended play paid a visit to the annual California Extreme Classic Arcade Show to get some answers. One of my old times favorites is a game called Mr. Doe's Castle. And it's one of the games that can wrap up nearly a million points on. Mizzler Command. One of my all time favorites. Fast, furious, vertical shoot em ups. Something that gets the blood pumping and gets a sweat on the brow. Asteroids, uh, Defender was lots of fun. I remember dumping quarter after quarter after quarter on that game. Since there's a really hard game, but it's really fun to get into. Run, coward. I'll put in a plug for my all-time favorite game, which is called Mappy. It's a little police mouse running around, jumping on trampolines and uh, picking up items before the cats can steal them. These guys are seriously old school. So why don't they hang around the arcades anymore? The home console market and PCs have just killed the whole, the whole thing off. Some of the new games that have come out, they tend to be pretty complicated, and you find that you've blown $15 before you just figure out what the basics of the game are. In the late 80s, mid, early 90s, there was sort of a consolidation of the types of games that people produce. You know, the driving game or the fighting game or the dancing games now. The operators have been getting a really tough deal in having games that they paid a lot of money for come out on home consoles. You know, three months later and they're not recovering the money that they put into it. But why bother messing around with these antiques to begin with? Part of it is wanting to preserve history and it's very very sad to see that the history of, of, of what a lot of what we grew up with be destroyed or be thrown in a landfill. I think that the nostalgia factor bringing back those fond memories of you know, racing home after school on our Schwinn bicycles, dropping them in the street in front of the 7-Eleven and popping into play. Uh, it, it's just, it's warm, fond memories. People like it. Okay, so there's renewed interest. But how do you get these old games back into the arcades where people can enjoy them? Friends, meet the Ultracade, a new arcade machine capable of playing any one of almost a hundred classic games. What we've done is collected licenses from all the classic arcade game publishers and we're bringing some of the games back from as late as the uh, late 70s through the 80s into the early 90s. There's lots of young kids that just flat out weren't born when these games were out so these are new games to them and then they're there like I said the, the parents the adults who remember fondly playing these back when they were kids so it appeals to a real wide range of ages. So there you have it the answer to getting families back into the arcades and playing together just might be embracing new titles while saving a place or two for those enduring classics. Donkey Kong anyone?